Welcome to tutorial number 310 on output control for GHS. Uh, this tutorial focuses specifically on reports. So today what we're going to cover, um, first off we're going to discuss what are reports, how do you start the reports, how do you preview them, how do you end them, uh, also how do you print them, and also how do you control which printer that they go to. Uh, that's pretty important if you're working in a network environment, in a business setting, because typically you'll have multiple printers available and some of them will cost more money to use than others and so your boss will care to make sure that you're actually using the correct printer when producing reports. But first a quick disclaimer this presentation is for instruction only you do not want to use this in engineering for construction it is not engineering for construction and I'm not a representative of creative systems uh, this is unofficial GHS training only. For the official training, I recommend that you contact Creative Systems at the information on your screen. Uh, they do provide official training. I've been to it. I highly recommend it. It's very thorough. Okay, so what is a report? Well, the way GHS works is that you have all of these calculations happening, but then you also have output that's written to um, essentially a log file. And then that's what a report is. It's similar to a log file, but it has nice formatting. So it's a bit like a stream of consciousness, you know, it's showing the output of various commands, but it gives you a bit more control. You get to decide which parts you show, which parts you don't show. Uh, you can apply some nice formatting, as I mentioned, and we're going to go into that later about how to do that formatting. But essentially, whenever a report is active, then all output from GHS calculations will also get written to the screen. And this is actually a plain text file. Uh, GHS has a special report viewer that we'll talk about how to use, but you can also just open a report as a plain uh, text file as well and extract information. Uh, reports have the .pf file uh, extension on them, or .pf. And I think the, uh, the one last warning I want to provide about reports is that they get very, very long. Uh, GHS is not one for providing summaries. Uh, there's a lot of detail in the reports. And so these could become hundreds and hundreds of pages. So you just want to be careful when you're generating reports. I mean, 100 pages is nothing if it's just a text file. But the minute it ends up getting printed out on the printer, that turns into quite a lot of effort. So how do you start a report? Well, in GHS, the command is report and then whatever you want the name of your report to be. So the report is the command, and then this is your file name, uh, .pf. Uh, you don't have to use .pf, but that's the extension commonly used with um, reports. And there are a couple options as well that go with that command. Uh, number one is the uh, P option. Uh, that's the starting page number. So it's dash P, and then whatever number you want to start with. Uh, that's pretty important because if you ever uh, put this into a run file and you run the run file multiple times, uh, if you don't specify the P option, it will just add on to your existing report. Whereas if you put the P option in, it will overwrite from whatever your starting page number was. Now, maybe you do want it to just add on to the report. Then you use the append option, and it will add on to whatever the file name is, is that you give it. And then finally, no graph is another option. So when you run a lot of these commands in GHS, uh, it's going to produce tables of outputs, but then it's, then it's also going to produce a graph. And you can actually select an option here to tell it that you don't want the graph, you just want the tables of outputs. And that, that's really where you control that option. Now, the uh, one other thing I want to mention here is in a single GHS run file, uh, you can actually start the report and stop it midway through the run file. Then you can even start another report. So you could actually have a single run file that say, in this run file, it starts by doing all of the intact stability calculations. You have that written out to one report. Close off that report, start a new report under a new file name, and then you can run all of your damage stability calculations and put it in that file. So it 
this is where you start to see how the reports give you a lot of control over when and how output happens. All right. Now, typically you also want to review your reports, uh, preview them is the word. Uh, let's you take a look to see, was your run file successful? You know, did you actually get all the output you were looking for? Or say maybe some of your commands produced errors. So that's pretty nice. Uh, and the report preview is a way to take a look at your report while still being in the middle of GHS execution. You can uh, essentially do it right in the middle and you don't have to stop your run file. Uh, you can pick up right where you left off after you finish re previewing the report. So the other nice part is that it won't change the report content. It, this command won't show up in the report. And the command is report preview. Now you need to have a report already active. So you need to have already done this report file name command uh, to start a report. But then the report preview will preview whatever that report is. Uh, you can also do this through the menu. So the menu options are, you go to the menu, report menu, print preview. Now when all of this is said and done, you also have to end your report. Uh, so the uh, ending the report will stop the recording, but it does not print out the output. And that, that's a pretty clo um, good distinction right there. So the command to do this is, uh, report off and so then you know the report stops recording and I also want to point out something here uh, this is a typical GHS menu window and there might be a question of well how do you know whether or not the report is on or off uh, if you look down here in the bottom left the test1.pf uh, that's the name of the report file name for the currently active report so if you don't have any active report, this will be blank. So getting back to the idea of ending reports, uh, you can also just end the report by going menu, close report, or report off, or, yeah, close off right there. And one last thing I really have to point out with these reports is if you just end, if you just quit GHS without turning off your report, before you close out, uh, what GHS will do by default is it will send your report to the default printer. So whatever printer you've set up in here as your default report printer, GHS will send the entire report out. Now if you have 200 pages of reports, that's going to be pretty annoying. Now I mentioned printing. Let's say you did actually intentionally want to print your report. The command for that is report print, or you can also do it through the menu option of menu, uh, the report menu print. So you can actually see here, there's the report menu print. And that does exactly what it says, is it sends it to the printer. Um, now you can also have PDF printers configured on your system, so you can convert your report into a PDF as well. That's another thing. Okay. Now, I mentioned uh, you can, it, that when you print the report, it will send it to the default printer, to the printer that GHS has selected as the default. Not your system default, the GHS selected for default. So GHS keeps its own record of which printer to use. And how do you pick the printer? Well, the command for that one is print configure me, personally, I would say this is one of those where you would be better off doing this through the menus. So the menu is Report, Set Up Printer, Primary, Select Printer. So that's the easiest way to do that. Uh, and you only have to do it once. GHS remembers your settings after that. Okay, let's practice some of these skills. So homework number 311, what I would like you to do is create a report and enter a few commands. I don't really care which commands you use, just a few to generate outputs. Uh, the homework actually does have a template file for you to start working with, and it's put a few commands in there. And one of the key things here is after you've done the commands, successfully turn off the report without triggering the report to print by default. 
So that's going to be the key element there. And you can find this homework and the solution to it up on the website. So thank you very much. I hope you found it informative and enjoyed it. And you can find the further videos like this and all the homeworks and their solutions on dmsonline.us. Thanks very much. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. Hey, did you know that there is a magic button down below? Click the like button or even the subscribe button and I will make more videos for you.